<laughs> I can't believe the switch. The audacity. Oh, we have most help! Reggie, please come in! OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. is going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some epic epic news in one video we do have a giveaway for subscribers make sure you subscribe follow me on twitter like this video let's kill it with the likes let's get right to the news wow the nintendo switch is an unstoppable runaway train the latest hardware sales numbers i got a couple of news and items multiple news items but the first one is pretty big the latest video game hardware sales charts have been released by vg charts and look at this the nintendo switch is outpacing the xbox series x and s and the playstation 5 and let's lump in the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. All five of those platforms. If you were to combine all five of those platforms, it still would not be close. It still wouldn't um, outpace the Switch's sale charge for the last week. This is just the last reported week, the most current reported week. And globally, the Switch is at... 316,000, um, over 316,000 globally, winning, crushing it in the US, crushing it in Europe, <laughs> and disseminating, the, uh, eliminating the competition in Japan. Bro, I don't know when we're gonna get a next gen Nintendo Switch console if the sales continue at this pace. I was looking at um, Nintendo's history and when they tend to launch new consoles, it's usually once their current console starts to diminish in sales, the competition starts catching up, but this is not the case this generation. Now, another interesting tidbit with this is, bro, look at the Xbox and PlayStation 5 Japan sales. Xbox, I think this is the first time in recorded history that I know of. Xbox has actually outsold PlayStation in Japan. I reported on this before, but now we see the um, actual numbers. Bro, PlayStation is going to have to get their either their supply chain going or whatnot. But Xbox, Xbox to outsell them in Japan is pretty, pretty big. And they have almost doubled xbox xbox doubled playstation 5 sales this past month in the u.s now i think all of this is before xbox announced that they were delaying and <laughs> um star starfield and redfall we'll have to see how these sales continue but i think it isn't so much uh, people are just desiring the xbox more playstation 5 is still non-existent on store shelves you can go into some stores and still find an X, a Xbox console. PS5, really struggling with keeping up with um, demand. But the big news is the Switch is the king of console, the console market right now. And it's Nintendo's first party IP. Those exclusives and experience you can only get on the Switch is right there. And that's why Nintendo sort of in their own lane they really don't they do have competition and at the same time they don't the steam deck is a niche console that's not gonna affect switch sales one bit and nintendo's just a runaway train right now they are doing the impossible and this is five years into the switch's console um lifespan they're just destroying the competition which is crazy all right next news item buyer beware 
even though this is a free game, there is a game-breaking bug in Kirby um, Nintendo, Kirby 64, uh, which is included now if you have Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack services. It's a free game included. And the bug is, for some, not for everyone, on some of the underwater stages, <coughs> if you get damaged by certain enemies or you find it in a certain situation, the game just freezes you where you cannot no longer move Kirby and you have to restart the game. So, this, and what's interesting is, this bug was not present in the original game. If you're playing it on the, the original Nintendo 64, this bug was not, is not present according to um, the testers of the game. So, Nintendo I'm sure is aware of this and Nintendo has been behind the scenes patching, updating games. So I can only imagine that Nintendo is going to do the same thing for Kirby and the Crystal Shards. So expect an update soon. But in the meantime, just to be aware, be careful when you're getting damaged on the underwater stages. So get something to know. I might just hold out and wait until I know there's an official patch before I play this game. It's going to be too frustrating to have to start over. All right, the next news item. Check this out. This is a short 16-minute trailer that just been released on the customization options for Mario Strikers Battle League. Letting you know they've already uh, um, discussed it that you can customize um, your character to sort of slightly adjust their stats. But everything, everything Nintendo has on this game, whenever they release a new trailer, I will be letting you guys know. Super for as far as announced Switch games. This is at the top of the list for me. Can't wait, can't wait. The game drops next month. Going to be a day one buy. I am going to be starting a, a um, not a league, a club for my sponsors. If you become a member of the OGC, three ways to join. Links are in the description. And I do game with my sponsors most nights on my gaming channel. All right, next news item. We got some Splatoon 3 news. This could potentially be big. Now, this official Splatoon North America Twitter account tweeted something out that has many fans curious. This is what their tweet. Squid Research Lab here rolling out a report on rollers. They talk about rollers. And then they end the tweet saying, warning, do not paint your apartment with one. And you, some could take it as just a joke and say, don't paint your apartment with one. But some are saying, because in the Splatoon trailers, you can some trailers you can see apartment buildings in the background. And some are saying we may be able to customize our own living space. So more, sort of like Animal Crossing home decorator or whatever, where you could probably possibly customize um, uh, uh, an apartment, your living space that you can look at uh, in game, which I think that's pretty cool. Anything that you could do new to add to the game, I'm all for it. Doesn't hurt anyone, but I think that's that's cool if you can, in fact, do that. And who knows? Maybe the customization of your apartment ends up having in-game perks and attribute setting um, um, changes. Can't wait to see. Fingers crossed. The more the more time passes, the more I'm getting hyped for Splatoon. Three, Splatoon is, in my opinion, still the best shooting game out. I mean, they nailed the mechanics, the strategy. It looks like, oh, look at the cartoon graphics, but the strategy in the game, customization options, and most importantly, the gameplay. Gameplay is king, and Splatoon um, kills it as far as gameplay is concerned. All right, and the last news item for this video. A fourth wave of Nintendo Switch Online Mario Kart 8 Deluxe icons are now available. For those of you that don't know, this is Nintendo's baby steps towards achievements. You can do different things, but the achievements are like play a, a Nintendo Switch Online game and you get platinum points. And you can use those points for actual rewards like changing your um, Nintendo Switch account icon on your Switch and so forth. <coughs> and what, one of these perks is Nintendo's constantly rotating out new icons. This week, 
It's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Some pretty cool looking icons. That Luigi icon, I should have had it in the um, video. But the Luigi icon looks low key lit, high key lit. So I am going to check that out on, on my Switch. Um, you can go to your rewards and get different icons for your uh, Nintendo Switch Online account profile. All right. Those are all the news items for this epic video. What do you guys think about everything? The Switch killing the competition? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We're out.